The following data refers to two planets, P and Q. We have radius, density, here are the two planets, P and Q. The gravitational field strength at the surface of P is this, and the gravitational field strength at the surface of Q is what we're trying to work out. So we're considering gravitational field strength, which is gm over r squared. We're given information on the radius, but we're not given direct information on the mass. Rather, we're given information on density. So how do we get density into our equation? Well, we can use this equation. Density is equal to mass over volume. Mass is then density multiplied by volume. The shape that we have here is a sphere. Planets are spherical, so V is then equal to 4 over 3 pi r cubed. We can put that into our mass equation, and we end up with mass is equal to density multiplied by 4 thirds pi r cubed. Now, rather than substituting this mass directly into what we have here, we can use proportionalities, which would make things a bit easier, as we don't have all these fractions within fractions or constants that we have to worry about. We can see from this equation that we'll end up with, in terms of proportionality, mass is proportional to rho r cubed. Those are the only things changing in our mass equation. For our gravitational field strength equation, gravitational, gravitational constant rather is a constant. So then g is proportional to m over r squared. And then we can replace the m that we have here with rho r cubed. So then g is now proportional to m gets replaced with rho r cubed. This is over r squared. And then the r's cancel out partially to give g is proportional to rho r. OK, now we can look at the table. So what's the factor by which radius is changing? What's the factor by which density is changing when we go from planet P to planet Q? So when going from here to here, we can see the radius doubles. When going from there to there, we can see the density halves. So when going from P to Q, again, we're considering G is proportional to rho r. We replace the rho and the r by the factors by which they change. So G then gets multiplied by rho changes by a factor of a half r changes by a factor of 2, so g gets multiplied by a half times 2, which is just 1, and therefore there is no change. The gravitational field strength will then just be 13.4.